Welcome to the second hearing and vote of, of the Committee of Governmental Operations. I am Council Member Fernando Cabrera, Chair of the Committee on Governmental Operations. Today we are holding a second hearing and a vote on the following bills regarding the voting rights of justice involved persons. Introduction 367, sponsored by Council Member Salamanca in relation to the Department of Probation informing persons of their voting rights. And introduction 1115A, sponsored by myself in relation to agencies assisting eligible parolees with voter registration. There's a tremendous amount of confusion on when a justice involved person can vote. Our goal with the two bills to be voted out of the committee today is to provide as much education and clarity as possible to justice-involved individuals. To that end, I'd like to clarify that a justice-involved person only loses his right or her right to vote when he or her is convicted of a felony. Anyone convicted of a misdemeanor or who is charged with a felony but still awaiting trial retains the right to vote. Anyone in probation can still vote. Before this year, a person in parole could not vote, and the right to vote was only restored after they completed their parole. However, in, in April of 2018, the governor issued an executive order that created a process for granting conditional pardons that restored only the right to vote to parolees. Now, so now some, but not all parolees, can vote. This is a wonderful step forward, however, for it to work, we are going to need to do a tremendous amount of public education. Introduction 367, sponsored by Councilmember Salamanca, requires the Department of Probation distribute written notice on the voting rights of the person sentenced to probation during their intake process. My own bill, Introduction 1115A, approaches this issue by ensuring that the staff of the agencies covered by the agency-based voter registration law, which require agencies to assist the public in voter registration are provided with guidance on the voting rights of formerly incarcerated persons. This guidance is to be developed by the Voter Assistance Advisory Committee. The bill will also require agencies covered by the law upon request by a formerly incarcerated person to check if they are eligible to register to vote. I want to thank the members of both committees and the sponsor of these bills for their commitment on this issue. I also want to thank committee staff, Brad Reed, Elizabeth Cronk, Zach Harris, as well as my own legislative director, Clara Michael Bain, for all of the work. And with that, let me uh, give the floor to Council Member Salamanca. Uh, and I want to commend you on your bill. Thank you, uh, Chair Cabrera. Um, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you uh, for allowing me to speak on my bill. I want to encourage my colleagues to vote yes on intro 367, which would require the Department of Probation to inform people on probation of their voting rights. The issue of mass incarceration in our nation largely affects our black and brown communities, and with their pervasive inf misinformation of who can and can't vote, it is up to us to educate and improve voter turnout. Communities of color, like the one I represent, feel this heavy burden. I believe that creating or instilling a sense of civic efficiency can begin at a very basic level. Integrating back into a community can begin with feeling like you have a voice. And in this case, casting a vote can be that voice. We should be encouraging participation in government. We've made great strides in increasing voter turnout and we should keep up this momentum. Thank you all and please vote yes on intro 367. And with that, uh, we'll call the roll call. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on governmental operations, introduction 367 and 1115A, Chair Cabrera. Aye. Mizell. Yes. Powers. Aye. Yeager. Aye. By vote of four in the affirmative, zero on the negative, and no abstentions, both items have been adopted by the committee. We'll keep it open uh, for a few minutes. <laughs> 